wind's blowing in our face and there's a deer about, I don't know, 40 yards away from us in front. I'll just spin you around, he's moved into a clearing. everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the barn just to pick up the trailer. My older brother's over from Cyprus and uh, he's proposed he's going to cook us a meal. So uh, Rick's come up from Gloucestershire, Leon's going to come out with us and my older brother's going to cook us some food. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, what I've noticed recently in the an analytics that over 60% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you would be kind enough to subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome. All it takes is just a little click. That's all you need to do. Underneath the video, there's gonna be a little red subscribe word in a little banner. Just click that, and that means you're subscribed to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, and it does me a massive favor, because it just gets me out there, basically. So if you'd be so kind to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. So we just got to the field for the second time today. We've been already once today and we've done a quick recce because um, it, everything's just waterlogged in the UK. Uh, basically we've had rain solid all the way through summer, uh, most through winter, mostly through winter. Um, so we've been and quickly driven across in the Land Rover just to make sure um, we can get across basically. Um, but if I just pan round and show you this dirt track, uh, you'll see that it's all just pulled of water. It hasn't rained for about three days now. Um, and the field, the field is not much better. The field is it's quite slip sliding. So I'm gonna take it really easy. Uh, I'm gonna tow the trailer to the woodland where I did my video uh, camping with an old friend. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, yeah, wish us luck. I'm not gonna film much of this. I'm just gonna head because we're running quite late. We've still got to go and pick up other pods. So everybody, we've made it to our location. As you can see by the state of the wheel here, proper, proper sloppy sideways coming across the field in some some locations. So uh, yeah, thumbs up for off-roading. Um, we're gonna set it up just here, next to the woodland. We camped in there, just on the far side of there when we did our camp video. Uh, we're gonna get it all set up now real, real quick, put the, uh, the awning out. But as I say, no intentions to stay tonight, it's just a, just, a, just a bit of food cooking by a proper chef as well. So yeah, hopefully he knows a bit more what he's doing than me. Skin, you can see it be intoxicating your energy. First time in so long, you felt the heat evaporating your bindings. Cold like the sunlight, darkness can't hold you here. Golden bright, push through the atmosphere. This is your done, this is your break. Move like the move, like the move, like the sunlight, darkness can't hold too much I really do apologize it was family time my older brother's over from Cyprus I did mention before in the video but uh, just starting to pack down now that's what it's looking like um, we've run the other bodies at home 
There's the old series just there. Rich, Richard's kindly ferried people back and forth across the field to um, Leon's vehicle that was parked over in the entrance just over there. Uh, we're just packing down now, obviously leaving no trace as always. We've got a bin bag just behind the Land Rover just there. You can see the bin bag. That's full of all our rubbish. Everything that we couldn't burn, we're taking away with us as we always do. Um, I'm hopefully going to say this now and probably regret saying it when I'm editing, but I'm hopefully going to go out for either a big long walk or we're going to do a camp out, just Richard, Leon and myself tomorrow night. Um, of which I will stitch this into somehow because um, I've definitely not got a lot of footage. Um, it's just basically the cooking of the food and stuff. But uh, yeah, we thought we'd bring out the trailer, use it as a kit cooking tool as it were and um, just, just air it out really. It's not been aired out since since last year, back end of last year. Well, my last camp out on here I filmed. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that little segment. Uh, hopefully I've got enough footage just for like five minutes of video footage. And um, yeah, we will bring you back a little bit later on. Right, it's been an interesting week this week, outdoors wise for me. Um, my older brother's been visiting over from Cyprus basically. So I've tried to show him basically what it's all about and, and take him to a few places that I go to get some headspace. So uh, we went to a local place the other day and I took the drone and I was gonna do some filming along the river and I was gonna film us, but I forgot to take some cables that my drone requires to film. So that went out the window. So um, yesterday being Friday, uh, I took them out in a trailer. We went and parked at a local permission where I did my um, camping with an old friend video basically on the edge of that woodland just there. And uh, we fired up the trailer, we cooked some food. He's a, he's a four star chef. He basically works in a hotel in Cyprus and, and yeah, he, he's a chef. So we'd had, had him cooking some lovely food. Um, today I'm out with uh, Richard who has the series, as now he's become known, and I'm out with our kid Leon. Um, and we're just exploring some woodland, some local woodland, um, not too far from our house, about 25 mile away, um, looking for another spot that we can come wild camping later in the year. Now already in this woodland, we've seen some deer, which hopefully I'll be able to weave in somewhere. Uh, it's gonna be quite far away because I haven't got a massive zoom lens on this camera. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm fa fairly sure I captured both the couple, I believe it was a doe and a buck. And um, yeah, we, we, we st stood watching them for about three or four minutes um, before they caught sniff of us and, and legged it basically. But we followed their trail, um, hoping that we'd catch another glimpse of them and get a little bit closer, being downwind from them. But we came to um, a fence basically, which again, I'll show you just here, um, the fence. So we've turned around and we're heading back towards the way we came into the woodland, which is towards a big main road over towards the west over there. Sorry, I'm sniffing a lot because I'm full of a cold. But um, basically, yeah, we, we've come to the end of our trail back that way because there's a fence and obviously they don't want us in there, otherwise they wouldn't have put the fence there and we're not brave or stupid enough to go over the fence and start trespassing. So, what we're doing now is we're heading back towards the vehicle and we found another woodland, not so far away from here, that looks much more dense and thicker than this. Um, although there are a couple of good spots in this woodland for, for a wild camp. That said, it is quite close um, to a populated area, so we don't really want to be wild camping because we'd have to keep the noise down. Um, we might upset people, so, so we're not really gonna come here, but it's been a good explore anyway. And if we hadn't come, we, had, we wouldn't have seen a deer. But as it goes, it's been quite an active week. I haven't really filmed a proper video with a beginning, a middle and an end. Um, but it's just going to be a mishmash of clips, basically. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I'm still going to carry on doing a little bit of filming today and I'll weave it into the video somewhere. I hope you enjoy it. Hopefully it inspires you to get out and just go and explore local areas. It's funny here because there's a, there's a footpath just to my, to my right over there. And we've been walking along the woodland and the amount of people that have walked past and not even realised we're in the woodland. And we're not really camoed up. I mean, I'm wearing green trousers. I've got a grey backpack on. My face is showing. Uh, bright yellow gloves. And uh, yeah, the amount of people that are just walking past and not even acknowledging us in the woodland is funny. But um, yeah, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to go and catch up the lads because they've gone on ahead. And um, yeah, I'll fetch you back when we're in the next woodland. Right, we've managed to find ourselves over in Death Valley. Now Death Valley runs along the M6, M62, Leon. 
M60, M60 runs near the, the M60, so you, you can probably hear the, the background noise of the motorway behind us. But um, yeah, just sort of trundling over hills and moors. And just generally looking, looking for stuff really. Um, birch bark, cramped balls, fat wood, although they, I've not seen an evergreen tree all day. Look at this sloppy mess. But yeah, just having a bit of an explore, so there's nothing really to show you all. Just really try and encourage you to get out and experience it for yourself. Oh, I'm sinking. But uh, yeah, just heading along this track here with the lads. We've got a brew kit in my back and Leon's got a backpack full of stuff as always to keep us ourselves safe and everything. Brew kit on me, plenty of hydration with us. And uh, just having a really good explore on places we can revisit when the weather's a little bit better. Maybe to bed down for the night. But at the moment, um, today, just to give you a clue when it is, it's uh, we're on the brink of Storm Kira. But being up in the northwest, where we're the tail end of it, it's not really that bad up here. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit, but no rain or anything too severe just yet. But we were going to camp out, but then we heard this storm was going to be happening. So we decided to give the camping out a rain check and just come for a massive ramble. Struggling to catch my breath now. I can't breathe too good through my nose because I'm full of a cold. But uh, yeah, we'll carry on yomping over here, searching for stuff, I guess. And I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. Spooky woods. Well, guys, uh, heading back towards the vehicle now. Uh, as you can, you probably can't tell on camera actually, but it's starting to go a bit dark, and the wind was whistling through the trees just back there. So, uh, yeah, we're going to drive back over the moors and do a bit of stargazing, see if we can see anything being blown about, because it should be really windy up there. But uh, yeah, I'll bring you back if anything interesting's happening in there or up there rather if not i will um see you in the next video i guess i hope you enjoyed this one uh, a bit of a montage of what's been going on this week and uh yeah i'll see you very soon in the next video you all take care